happy Mommy Pearl weekend. Happy Friday. It's 7 o'clock. Uh, guess what? At 9 o'clock, I have to go to the gym. Ah! Oh, you guys, the other day, I shamed myself into scheduling some training sessions. Anyway, so 9 o'clock, um, I'm going to the gym. I think I'm going to be there earlier, though. I want to get there at 8.30 because do you guys remember when I used to work out, how I used to get there to my appointment, and then they would consider my warm-up and cool-down part of the training? I'm like, mm, I'll see what you're doing, LA Fitness. So I think I'm going to get there at 8.30, do a little warm-up. They could do the cool down as part of the training. I don't care. I'm not going to be that into it. Um, but yeah, I'll get there early. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, I'm meeting my friend Sue Omi for a little girl's lunch. Um, and then this evening, I have a date with Liam Neeson. So many of you guys are like tripping out. Like, oh my God, what happened to Liam Neeson? Like, what's going on? Because of the video that I did, uh, Get Ready With Me, about all the bad dates. So I guess for some reason, because I'm talking about bad dates, you guys just assumed he's out of the picture or something. I told you guys in my last weekend vlog that I'm just, I'm taking it slow. I'm taking my sweet time. Usually I'm so like quick to just try and focus on um, that one person, get to know them and it just fizzles out really quick. So I just wanna take my time. You know, I'll see him once a week maybe, uh, hang out. I've kind of reached this point where like if a girlfriend calls me and says she wants to have dinner with me, I'd rather do that than go out with a boy. You know, I'm like, eh, have dinner with a friend, have lunch with a friend, you know, have some girl time, go shopping. That sounds a lot more appealing than like trying to figure out feelings and stuff. So other than that, I don't think I have anything else um, planned for this weekend. So we'll go to the gym together. Uh, we'll, I do have to run some errands and they do involve the mall and you guys know how I feel about the mall on the weekends. So uh, I have to find a dry cleaner as well. But I want a dry cleaner that also does tailoring. I'm kind of like one of those two for places, like, I don't want to have to go to two different places. You Can you provide all these services that I need? Uh, so you need to find a dry cleaner. Just nothing really special this weekend. You want to say hi? She's a little embarrassed because I took her to the groomer and the groomer kind of had her way with her hair. But it was my fault because I skipped her previous grooming session intentionally because I wanted to see how she looked like furry and fuzzy. But as soon as she started to get like the little, a little bit of naughtiness in her hair, not a lot because I still brush her, I was like, mm. And she gets uncomfortable. So... They cut her hair and that's what happened. Do you see? She's very upset. My oldest son was like, what did you do to her? She looks really ugly. <laughs> so, she looks kind of cute, doesn't she? A little bit? Kind of cute? No? Okay, no. All right, let's get ready. All right, guys, we're doing it. 8.30. Ah, I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go, but I have to go. So here's an outfit of the day. Uh, it's probably stuff you've already seen before when I used to hit the gym hard in October, or rather this summer. God, it's been so long. I'm going to be in so much pain. You guys have to convince me. <sighs> this is for my own good. This is so I can keep eating pizza, cheeseburgers, and beer. Just repeat that in my head. All right, so it's really cold outside. Winter is back. We had 70 degree weather for like a day. Um, I have my leggings with the little cutouts from Adore Me. Just some regular, I think these are fly knit. I don't even know what they're called, they're Nikes. Um, a Puma hoodie. It's really cute. Let me show you guys the back. See that? I like it because it's really long. Um, and then underneath, actually, yeah, let me show you guys this. You're gonna love it. This is this awesome tank top that I got from a subscriber that it says, I need an all day coffee break. The story of my life. And that's Wesley with his haircut. <laughs> anyway, so we're heading out to the gym. I don't know if after the gym, I'll run a few errands um, or I'll just come home, get ready and then run the few errands before my lunch. Mm. I don't work that way, you know, cause then I'll take my time getting ready. I think I have to go right after the gym to just get my stuff done. Maybe I'll roll up to lunch in this awesome outfit. I don't think Sue will mind. She's a girlfriend. She might be like, ah, gym girl, fist bump, no? Maybe a little bit, hopefully. <laughs> hey, hey, you guys. This is me, mostly dead. Oh my God. So within like, I don't know, like two minutes of warming up, I already wanted to murder. I think my only motivating factor was like, do it for the tacos, Danny. Do it for the tacos. Look at how sweaty I look, this is gross. Okay, so I started to warm up on the elliptical, which is usually my warm up. 
man the last time I came to the gym was at the end of September, right before I went back home to San Diego, um, which I'll insert the vlog here. Just kidding. Um, yeah, so, and then I stopped going because that was when I started to have all my, like, oncology appointments. Like, this day is a lab, that day is a different lab. Totally invasive and totally gross, you know, and it was just like, man, one thing after another, and I just got, honestly, emo monologue. Actually, this one's not gonna be that long. It's just a fact. I got very discouraged because I thought I was gonna miraculously feel better after my treatments and I haven't. And I know it takes a while for you to store your ferritin and to, for you to like actually see the difference and feel the difference, but like, I'm just very discouraged. My nails are breaking more than they were before. My hair is really dry and brittle and just breaking and I don't know if it's because of the treatments or I don't know if it's just because it's winter time, but I'm extremely discouraged. Um, and so I just had one of those moments where I was like, you, look, if you're not gonna feel better and if this is the status quo and this is the norm and this is just how you're gonna feel from now on, suck it up, stop being such a and get back to the gym, you know? Maybe this will make me feel better. So, I did. Man, I am more out of shape now than when I decided to start coming to the gym in June. It's pathetic, but whatever. You know what? Shame on me for taking such a long break and now I gotta make up for lost time and we're gonna do it. So. I got my ass kicked, but whatever. It is what it is. I talked to my trainer and I was like, listen, I need these workouts to be full body workouts every single time I see you. I don't wanna do leg day one day, upper body pull day, whatever, arms tuck and roll, whatever. You know, like, just do full body every single time I see you, just take care of me. I need to see some changes, you know? And I don't mean like physical changes, I just mean more energy. That's all I want. So, um, right now I'm driving to my P.O. box. I was gonna go home and shower and get all cute and gussied up. I was like, after that, I got stuff to do. So, gonna go to my P.O. box, then I'm gonna go to Target and get some groceries, and then I'll probably just have enough time to go home. I don't even know if I should make myself look presentable. I'm just gonna roll up and eat food like this, I think. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. What do you think? I don't think Suomi will mind. She's one of my besties. Uh, so that's it. Let's go to my P.O. box. You know why I'm going to my P.O. box? Because there's this thing that I ordered that I'm like dying, dying to test out. Because, do you guys remember I told you culturally, you're not supposed to put your purse on the floor? Rather, you're not supposed to put your purse anywhere unless it's like in your lap or like hanging somewhere. Um, and so I discovered this cool thing called the bagnet. Like magnet, but it's called bagnet and it should have already arrived at my P.O. box. So basically it just looks like a little like a little leather fob. That's it, that's all it looks like. Just an inconspicuous leather fob that has this like Super Hulk Ultra Magnet inside of it and you can just like stick your purse to anything that's metal. Just like stick it. So I wanna try it. That's, uh, that's one of the things that I'm excited to this weekend, uh, to use my bagnet. <laughs> So let's go. Alright you guys, we're about to experiment. Not really, because it's not like I can test it out right now. But, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. So this is called Bagnet. Magnet, bag, net, get it? All right, so that's what the thing looks like. You see it right there? Here's the little information. Does not hurt. Credit card, cell phones, or electronics. Nice! Okay, that's the packaging. It's a purse hanger that magnetically hangs your bag. Clip it to your purse hardware and strap it and leave it there. Use it to hang your bag from a metal restroom stall, door frames, chairs, bar stools, and even table bases at restaurants. Oh, look at this. How funny is that? Have you guys ever had to put your purse on a bathroom floor? I'd rather have my own pee on my purse than someone else's. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so this is what it looks like. Look at that. This is supposed to be magical, you guys. This is supposed to... This is supposed to hold my purse up. I don't know. I kind of want to like go to that mailbox over there and test it out. Let me show you. You see those mailboxes over there? 
Would that be weird? Actually, you know what? I totally would do it, except it's 40 degrees outside right now, and my butt is still sick. Yeah, so you're supposed to clip this onto the hardware of your purse, just to have it handy, and then your purse is supposed to magnetize to things. Really? Really, Pagnet? I actually ordered two. Do you want to see the other one? <laughs> so it'll match my purse's outfit. Duh! So when I don't want to be super classy chic, like black leather, uh, we're gonna go with the gray one. How sexy is that one? I already know this one's my favorite. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Here are the magnets. How is it supposed to work? I feel like I need to watch a YouTube video. The whole concept, I'm like, is this one of those things that's gonna disappoint me? That's the next thing on this vlog, is we need to test this out. It's 10.30, need to go to Target. All right, fine, we'll go to Target. We'll test it, at some point we'll test it out in this vlog. Hang tight, hold under your panties. We're about to test this bagnet business. Oh my God, did you hear how strong that is? Jeez Louise, oh my gosh, look at. I think that's gonna hold my purse. Although bagnet doesn't know all the stuff I'll carry in there. I need to go to the restroom. If this conversation couldn't get any more awkward about me in the bathroom, look at which aisle I'm in. Anyway, so I need to go to the bathroom. Oh, I'm getting a call. Catch you later. You guys, Liam Neeson interrupted our important conversation. So, what I was telling you in the uh, tampon aisle was that I had to go to the restroom, right? And right before, I'm about to go into um, the bathroom. Where did I park? Right before I'm gonna go into the bathroom, you guys, I realize I'm talking into a camera walking into a public bathroom. So I was like, mm, is that a good idea? Where did I park? Oh, let's go this way. Um, so I realized how much of a creep factor that was. But then I walk into the bathroom after I put my camera away and stopping a creeper. And it turns out that the stall I was using didn't have a purse hook. So I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity to use my bag net, right? So I have this moment where I'm like, oh, let me get my bag net. This is perfect. I'm gonna be able to test it out and see if it works. I left it in the car. So it kind of came full circle where I'm like, this is what Bagnet is for. I'm in a public restroom, in a Target, without a purse hook. Target public restroom. Could you imagine? So you could probably guess what happened. I uh, peed with my purse in my lap. And all right, you guys, 1215. Single woman problems. I'm pretty sure I have a flat tire. I haven't gotten out to check because I'm a little nervous. But um, as I was driving over here, I got the tire pressure alert and then the number just kept dropping. Should we check together? I'm a little nervous. All right, I guess we're about to find out. It's 12.15, I just got to Cheesecake Factory at Waters Creek to have lunch with my friend Suomi. So hopefully it's just like a weather thing. I know a lot of times with like my tires, if it goes from like super, super cold to super hot, or if I'm parked a very long time, like in my garage or something, um, the wheels get weird. They act funny, but let's check. Hey! Who's that over there? <laughs> you guys, I'm sitting here at Cheesecake, and I ordered the Bang Bang Chicken and Shrimp. And it looks a little weird. I've never ordered something like this. I was expecting like, you know, it's kind of Asian bowl, but it's like kind of fancy looking. I'm like, and that's a lot of rice. Before I went to the gym. <laughs> Look at this though. I'm like, can we trade food? That looks amazing. But see, isn't that like, like what is this? Is it super fancy? Is it not? Like what, what's going on here? It's a lot of happening, a lot of happening. You guys! Oh, that was the whiniest you guys of life. Okay, so where am I going? I 
think I'm going this way. Right? No, no. Ooh, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I'm in this section where like a ton of uh, highways connect and confuse me, apparently. Uh, all right, where am I going? I think I got it. I think we're out of the woods. Okay, so I leave lunch with Suomi at two. And I'm like, okay, um, tire pressure just keeps dropping. That's really interesting. So I just figure I have a slow leak. You know, I'm not a useless person. Um, so it's like, okay, I have a slow leak. Um, my car feels bouncy. Huh. Anyway, so long story short, I'm like, I have a slow leak. I have to figure something out. And I'm always in the parking lot uh, where my gym is. There's a Panera. I always have a lot of things to do in that shopping center. And that shopping center is always under construction. There's also these apartment buildings. And so there's like hella construction. I'm not really surprised that I had a leak in my tire. Well, it turns out I have a giant screw in it. Um, so I'm like, you know, I'm gonna be sensible and responsible and I'm gonna be a grown up. And I'm gonna pull into a discount tire and uh, see what's up. So sure enough, I have a screw in my tire. My tire's leaking. Um, which is kind of lame, but whatever, what are you gonna do? Um, and so I sat there for almost two hours. Almost two hours, it's 4.30. I haven't been home since I left for the gym. You know what I mean? Like I went to Target and after Target I had to obviously go home and drop off my groceries. But I have not been home since, since 8.30. I got home, I left the groceries, I, I get back out. I have been gone all day. It was literally like a work day. It was like a nine to five over here, like an eight to four. Um, I haven't been home. I am so tired. My poor puppies have been in their room all day. So I need to go home, play with them for a little bit. I have to get ready because I have plans. My Liam Neeson date is at 7.30. But we had the evening plan, like we we're gonna do dinner and then um, they have this like special cover band show or whatever um, at his club that he likes to go to. Um, but I'm like, do you really have your heart set on going to that show? Cause I'm kind of, I'm kind of over today. I can't fake it. You know, I'll tough it out and I'll push through and we can have dinner and, and you know, and when I'm happy to see someone, I'm happy to see someone, whatever. But I also, I don't push it. You know what I mean? I'm not a faker. I can't fake anything, you guys, let me tell you. Um, so yeah, dinner at 7.30. Um, and then it's just, I don't feel good still. Like I still don't feel good. I still feel like I'm sick and it's just, <sighs> I have a bad attitude right now, you guys. I should stop vlogging because I'm like, <clears throat> I'm giving myself a yucky taste in my mouth. I can't imagine you guys. Anyway, I'm gonna go home, love up on my Merns and my three littles, uh, take a shower and get ready. And uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a good time tonight. Okay, you guys, it's 7.25. Liam Neeson's gonna be here at 7. 30 to pick me up. I am running so, 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 so behind. Uh, my dad called me. Um, my grandmother um, is, you know, she's pretty, she's up there in age. And so I know you guys have like the worst view ever, but I couldn't come up with anything more creative <laughs> at this moment. Currently you're on tampon boxes. <laughs> Um, anyway, so my grandmother is uh, pretty up there in age, and so she's giving us the scares, you know? So my dad's kind of really bummed out about that, and you know, it's kind of like one of those reality things. Hoping she makes a really good recovery and stuff, but you know, she's already saying some stuff that, you know, is, is a little, it makes everyone nervous, you know? It makes everyone nervous and scared and just, this kind of stuff in families is just, you just can't be prepared for it. So that took up uh, some of my time and then I just fell behind texting, you know, and I hate being in a rush. I hate, hate, hate being in a rush, but you know, we're gonna make it happen. I'm not gonna have time to swap out my purse or anything. Uh, hopefully he's a little late. Hopefully, oh man, I hope so. Okay, before it gets too late and I say goodbye to you guys, I wanted to show you guys my makeup for the night. I'm wearing um, Dallas from Benefit. This is Sugar Daddy from Too Faced. On my eyes, all the transition colors are um, 
the just peachy mattes and then on the lid that blue color that you see is um from the anastasia beverly hills mario palette i think it's carolina the color Car carolina something like that maybe so anyway that's my that's my makeup of the day and then my outfit it's super basic just this shirt that i did in a forever 21 haul do you guys remember a few months ago and then just some wide leg jeans um anyway i'll try and show you later but just ah you guys Happy Saturday. Do you know what time it is? It's 5.30. So this is my migraine face. <laughs> wow, okay. So last night I left you guys in a massive hurry. I didn't even show you guys my full outfit of the day. It was just such a long, arduous day, nonstop, hole in my tire, like craziness, right? 7.30, Liam Neeson. Oh my God, P.S. By the way, side note, it's not the real Liam Neeson. <laughs> I got so many comments in last weekend's vlog about why do you keep saying Liam Neeson's whole name? We get it, you're dating Liam Neeson. I'm like, I wish. <laughs> it's a pseudo name for a guy that I'm hanging out with. Just getting to know, nothing super special. It's not anything like, you know what I'm saying? Nothing exclusive. Um, anyway, so I guess I need to put that like in every, I need to remind you guys in every vlog that I talk about him, it's like, it's not the real Liam Neeson and he's not my boyfriend. Um, so yeah, he picked me up at 7.30. We went to Taverna. Oh my God. I had never been, well, I had been there before just for drinks, not to eat. The food is amazing. So good. I still like North Italia better, but the food was amazing. All we had was like Italian seafood, so it was delicious. And then after, I told them, I said, you know what? I've had a long day. I don't want to do anything after this. I just want to have a nice meal, and then I want to go to bed. So after that, he's like, you know, Cowboy Club is having a fun karaoke night. Just saying. I ended up at a karaoke party at the Cowboy Club. Cowboy Club is not Concrete Cowboy. A lot of you guys asked me that last uh, vlog. Concrete Cowboy is a restaurant slash bar slash club. Cowboy Club is a members only club at the star um, where the uh, Cowboys players train. It's like their training facility. So it was hilarious because we got there after the party had already gotten started. So uh, people were already very entertaining. <laughs> anyway, I got up this morning and I had the worst headache ever. And it was one of those headaches where I'm like, I really wish there was like a really awesome story to go behind this headache. You know, like I wish it was like, oh, I have a good reason. I'm hungover, but it was just a migraine. And I get these migraines, I would say maybe four times a year. Right now, having this light on just so that you guys can actually see me and I'm not in the dark literally feels like I'm piercing my eyes with like hot nails. It's just awful. It's awful. The light, the sensitivity, like everything. I spent the entire day in my bed under the covers, like completely full on under the covers. Like it's, it's, it's been the worst headache ever. And I do have migraine medication that I get prescribed. Um, I just don't like taking it. It's a really strong medication. It just, I don't know. I'm like, it's always something. It's always medication for something. So I'm like, whatever. So I just took ibuprofen, uh, which usually works uh, with my migraines. So I feel a little bit better, but I did Uber eat some sushi. So that should arrive in like 15 minutes. So I'm so excited. Basically my entire life is going to be my weekends with Uber Eats, <laughs> my relationship with Uber Eats. Actually, I do have HelloFresh that I want to do for you guys, but I don't feel good. So I was like, I'm going to be like the worst entertainment chef ever if I cook with a migraine. I'm going to be like cutting my finger, burning my chicken. So tomorrow we'll do HelloFresh. That'll be super fun. Um, but for now, I'm literally just going to do this all day. I think this is my body saying, you know what? If you're not going to take a break on your own, I'm going to make you take a break. I'm going to handicap you so hard that you can't even see the sun without feeling pain. <laughs> Okay, so 5.30, Uber Eats Sushi, stay in bed all day, and then tomorrow we'll have, tomorrow we'll make up for it. What is she doing over there? Do you see that? Hey, can you be a lady? Can you be a lady? What's up, fatty boy? 
So I don't make it a habit to eat in bed, but given the circumstances today, um, I don't know what I ordered, you guys, but it all sounded really good when I was reading the description. This is called a sunrise roll, I think. It has mango on top and avocado. Um, and then that's a rainbow roll, but I always get it without any salmon. I know, I'm weird. I'm like, eh, salmon's not my fave. This is a sweet potato roll. Um, what is this one? Let's see. Well, it has shrimp, cream cheese. Yeah, shrimp, cream cheese, I think crab on top, or like fake crab. Uh, I don't know, looks pretty good. Let's dig in, y'all. Yesterday was a complete wash. My head still hurts right now, actually. I'm starting to think, A, I'm dehydrated, or B, it's like a stress headache. Um, regardless, today we have a very busy day. It's 8.30, uh, I milled around the house a little bit, did some chores, laundry, sheets, washed my beauty blenders, played with my merns. Um, so we did that, then, um, we have to film a couple of videos and I have to do HelloFresh. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Shower, get ready, film, get ready with me, then do the HelloFresh for lunch, head over to church, come back, PO Box unboxing, and maybe an extra video, maybe, not sure. And then I have dinner plans at seven. So it's gonna be a really, really tight day, but I think we can make it happen. I thought today I was gonna wake up fresh like a lettuce or cabbage or whatever because I slept all day yesterday. Nope, still didn't wanna get up today. I set my alarm for six, it rang, and I was like, it's Sunday. Boom, turned it off. Um, so I got up at seven um, and it's 8.30 now. So let's go ahead, get started with our day in the real way. Hey you guys, 10.30. How tan do I look in this lighting? Look at this super moisturized skin. <laughs> You're looking at my shirt, aren't you? Look at that. 
I love Texas. It's cool, right? It's one of my favorite t-shirts. Okay, so we're gonna do HelloFresh. I told you guys uh, a few weeks ago, last week, today, maybe yesterday, I don't remember, um, that this video, a portion of this video was gonna be sponsored by HelloFresh. They are one of my sponsors on my channel, so thank you so much for that. So we do HelloFresh once a month here, but it is something that I do with my family. It's something that I truly enjoy. You guys know, it's like Casper Bedding. Like, Casper Bedding lives on my Casper mattress. Sponsors that find me are usually sponsors that find me because I already use their stuff prior to them hiring me, so it's kind of nice. <laughs> no ab belts around here, guys. Okay, so what I wanted to do was uh, show you guys kind of a trick that I do with my HelloFresh. So when I receive HelloFresh on days that I don't film, like in a vlog, what I like to do is I like to prep the meals in advance and then just cook them the day that I'm planning on consuming them. So what we're gonna do today is I will make a meal with you guys to eat for lunch, but I'm also gonna prep one or two of the other meals that I received so that during the week when we come home and we have martial arts and we have, you know, Lego engineering and all those extra fun activities, I don't have to waste time prepping and soiling a cutting board and taking things out of the fridge and you know setting stuff up everything will be pre-cut chopped whatever ready to go all i need to do is grab the skillet or turn on the oven and we'll be straight okay so that's what we're going to do today so it'll be a little bit different from the previous hello fresh that i've done for you guys um looking forward to it so today uh the three recipes that we have to work with and you guys have asked me this before um there are three types of subscriptions with hello fresh they have the classic the family and the veggie. I get the family because it's double portions and so it gives me leftovers for the next day. So the boys and I will eat one day and then the next day for lunch, I'll eat that for lunch or me and my little guy will eat it for lunch um, or I'll pack some for my oldest. If he really liked it, I'll pack some for his lunch the next day. So it yields enough product where we can eat two days. Uh, the other thing is that it has enough ingredients or enough groceries where I can translate that recipe into something different, especially the pasta dishes. You know, they'll come with like rosemary and thyme and onion and stuff like that that I can just multi-purpose use into other recipes that I already make during the week. So let me show you guys what we have. The first recipe is uh, little ears. This is oriquete. Um, and this is a pasta dish with sausage, broccoli, and... Um, Oh, it has chili flakes. I think I'll leave those to the side just because of the boys. Um, and it is a pesto sauce, which I already know they love. I love HelloFresh too because it kind of forces them to try something that I ordinarily wouldn't force feed them. And they usually end up loving it. A lot of the family recipes have tenders or um, nuggets or burgers, stuff that they're used to seeing just with different flavors. This is amazing apricot chicken. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but I think in November, I, I did this at a friend of mine's and he has a daughter. I think she's eight seven or eight and she loves to cook but these are flavors that you normally wouldn't feed to a small child right you wouldn't expect them to like an apricot glaze or anything with like balsamic vinegar or stuff like that and it was a total hit um, and then we have the Japanese style panko pork cutlets I haven't tried this one before this is a cool one because it is pork which my sons confuse as chicken so they're more likely to eat it um, it also has a cucumber salad and rice so with this one I know my kids aren't gonna eat the cucumber salad but I know that's also gonna turn into a really delicious snack for me um, or a lunch or something that I can eat with hummus for the next day so it's really cool when I pick my recipes I pick them with ingredients that I know like okay well maybe my boys won't like the cucumber salad but I can use that cucumber for something else and I don't have to go to the grocery store so here's what we're gonna do for lunch I'm gonna make the amazing apricot chicken um, which means I need to preheat the oven and I'm going to cook the potatoes and the green beans in the same uh, cookie sheet as long as they fit um, we will put in the potatoes first and halfway through the process we'll put in the green beans so we'll only use one pan um, for the oriquete or the little ears pasta we're gonna do the entire cooking process up until mixing the pasta into the um, pesto sauce. So instead of steaming the broccoli, then cooking the sausage, and then following the steps, what I'm gonna do is I will make the pesto sauce 
with the sausage today and then tomorrow or the next day when I decide to make this for the boys, I'll boil the pasta and in that same boiling water, I will cook the broccoli. So it's gonna be kind of like a two for one. Then all we need to do is reheat the sausage sauce mixture, add some of that pasta water into the sauce to loosen it up and kind of refreshen it, add the cooked pasta and the broccoli and then we'll have our dish ready to go. So it's gonna save us a lot of time because we won't have to do the cutting, the prep, the cutting, we won't need the cutting board. All we're going to need come cooking day is a pot of boiling water because we could even reheat the sauce in there if we wanted to. You don't have to, but you can. So it's a really easy way of, um, you know, not having to go to the grocery store, not having to use a lot of pots and pans, not having to stress over meal prep during the week. I just like to do it in advance because I always have like 72 Safari browser tabs open in my brain. I don't know if you guys are like that, but there's always a thousand kajillion million things going on. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that we're gonna take out is the bags of our ingredients. So this is the oriquete. Then, um, which is the other one we need? This one. I always keep the meats in like a pan like this in case there's any sort of seepage or leakage. It doesn't fall into food items that I don't need to cook. You know, I don't want that cross-contamination. To make things more visually appealing, I went ahead and lined these uh, bags up so that you could see which um, recipe they're gonna go with. Um, it already comes with the broccoli florets cut. So I don't know if you guys would wanna cut these even further, like if you have small children and you want them to be like finger size, like where they can pinch them with their little hands. Because this is the uh, family size, it's always gonna have double portions of everything. Here is the little ears pasta. How cute is that? I love that everything is labeled with HelloFresh. It feels like I'm on like that Rachel Ray cooking show. Do you remember how she had those uh, personalized labels on all her ingredients? Here's the basil pesto. And this is the Parmesan cheese that you're gonna mix into the sauce. This is probably something that I would um, mix in probably the day of, just for freshness. But Parmesan is one of those cheeses that doesn't break down. So you could actually mix it in ahead of time and there wouldn't be an issue. Some cheeses separate uh, from the milk solids and the fat solids and uh, they just get really oily and gross. Parmesan doesn't do that. Okay, and for the amazing apricot chicken, we have our green beans, two bags of those. We're going to have some fresh thyme. We have a really giant shallot, that's nice. We're not gonna use all of it for sure. Um, but yeah, really big shallot. Um, two little bottles of balsamic, how cute is that? Aw, I always save these little bottles too for my oldest, he loves tiny things just like me. Do you like tiny things too? Um, we have some chicken stock. This is like stock concentrate. And then some of the um, apricot preserves. The rest of the stuff in here are the fingerling potatoes. And you can see how generous they are with their portions. So I'm actually going to cook half of them and then save the other half for during the week when I can do sort of like um, these paprika garlic salt seasoned fries for the boys. They're more like chunky wedge type fries. Let's go ahead and get started, but first, I need to go get my Hello Fresh apron. What do you guys think? I like how it just says hello. The girls are not allowing me to properly wear my Hello Fresh apron. Okay, so we preheated the oven to 425. I'm gonna show you guys a little um, lazy girl kitchen hack. So I use nonstick foil for almost everything. Um, it helps me use less nonstick product, whether it's Pam, coconut oil, avocado oil, the oils that I use to cook, um, olive oil or butter. It just allows me to use less of it. But um, it's also easier when it comes to cleanup because it's a little bit thicker. So if you're kind of a little violent with your foil, it's not gonna rip as easy as regular foil. And when you have a tear in your foil and you're using a fat as a cooking medium, the fat's gonna go through the tear, right? And then you have to wash your cookie sheet. If it doesn't, then all you do is ball it up, throw it away, and put your cookie sheet away. So, you're welcome. <laughs>
added the potatoes to the oven. Now these potatoes are gonna take 20 to 25 minutes. From my experience and with my oven, potatoes take usually about 30 minutes to cook. And so I set the timer for 15 minutes. When the timer goes off, I'm gonna take out the potatoes and I'm gonna put the green beans on there and add additional salt and pepper and a little bit more avocado oil and throw them back in for another 15 minutes. So what it's doing is it's like multitasking, right? We're using the same pan, we're gonna use the same seasoning so we can mix flavors and it'll be perfectly okay. Now if you're kind of like, oh, you know, my kids are super picky, they don't want me to like mix product, all you have to do is move everything to the side and I've done this before in previous HelloFresh videos. You just move them to the side, put the green beans on the other side. The only thing with that is I feel like you need to use more fat to cook. So you have to add more oil because you're not, your product isn't touching, right? You're, you're throwing in naked green beans, so you have to add more oil. If you don't mind, like I don't mind, I love avocado oil. Um, so I'll show you guys the way that I do it. Um, now, the only other thing we need to chop or cut is the shallot. So I'm gonna use the same exact cutting board that I use um, to cut the potatoes. Um, so we'll uh, mince the shallot. And then everything else is just basic prep work. We need to cook the chicken, we need to cook the sausage, um, season products, make the sauce, and that's about it. Ah, here are potatoes! So if you guys have a picky eater, you move all the potatoes to one side, you put the string beans or the green beans all on one corner. I like to be a little more efficient with the salt, the pepper, and the oil that's already here, and I just dump them on top. But I know most people wouldn't like to do that. You know, kids, man, kids are such a blessing, but they make us change so many parts of the way we do everything, right? So just move everything over, take your green beans. All the HelloFresh stuff has already been washed. You can rewash it if you want, but you can just tell when it's clean, you can smell it. Um, it has a date on there of when it's best to be consumed, and it's also microwavable in the bag. So if you just wanted to steam them instead of turning on an oven, or maybe you don't have an oven, um, you could also steam them in the bag. And what I'm gonna do here is I will pre-cook, brown and pre-cook the Italian sausage. Then I'll add the pesto sauce, a little bit of water, the Parmesan cheese, and I'll basically have the sauce mixture ready to go for during the week when all I have to do is um, steam the broccoli in the pasta water with the pasta. So we'll do that first. Once we're done with that, we'll put that in a container, wipe the pan clean, and cook the chicken in the same pan. Remember that cooking tip that I gave you guys a few months ago? When you're adding cold food to a hot pan, you have to compensate with the heat. So the pan was hot, the sausage was cold, I have to crank up the heat in order for me to be able to sear the meat and get that nice golden color on it. Once you start to hear the sizzle that's a lot louder, then you can reduce the heat and control it that way.
leave this like golden color on certain meats, a lot of times meats absorb a lot of liquid, fluid, whether it's in the muscle or however they were fed. And so when you're cooking it, all that liquid comes out and instead of browning your product, you're gonna steam it. So what I did is I rolled up a napkin and I put it in the corner of the pan to absorb not only the liquid, but also some of the fat. So what it does, it creates a drier surface and you can actually achieve that like golden brown crust or coating um, or caramelization on your protein. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the sauce with the meat, the pesto, and the cheese. And what we'll do during the week is add the steamed broccoli and the pasta. So that'll be like an afterthought during the week. But for now, we're gonna go in with this HelloFresh basil um, pesto. And I'm gonna use both, because I'm a big spiller, oh, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> we're using both. Um, and then we'll also add some water. break up the sausage any further um, like in the picture you can tell it's more of like a ground meat but my kids are three and six they still kind of finger food a little bit and when it looks like little meatballs they're more inclined to try something new and if I give them a pasta that has sort of like a green sauce on it I could always be like oh it's Ninja Turtle pasta with nuggets or it's I don't know Hulk pasta with meatballs and then they'll be more inclined to try it just because it's a little bit more like finger friendly, you know? Now we're gonna put in the Parmesan cheese. And it does say to save some of it to sprinkle for your final product, but we're not really focusing on presentation today as much as we are getting ahead on our week. So you can see how creamy the sauce is and how it's just coming together beautifully. Before it cooks any further, and the milk fat separate from the oil and the cheese, I'm just gonna dump this into a container for the week. Make sure you use a container that if you needed to, you could reheat in. And it's also a container that is wide enough where it's gonna cool down fast. Okay, so the oven just beat and the green beans and the potatoes are done. Here we go, perfect green beans, perfect potatoes, done at the same exact time. And there's enough portion to have, you know, today for lunch, tomorrow for lunch, to pack in um, a snack box, you know, some crunchy green beans or whatever. Okay, now we're gonna get our mise en place together. That's all of our ingredients ready to go, handy, where we can see them. These are all the ingredients I'm gonna need for the apricot glaze. So we have our shallots and our thyme, we have the chicken broth, the apricot preserves and the balsamic vinegar. And I'm gonna set these here to the side because the first thing we need to cook is the chicken. And I'm gonna be reusing the same exact skillet. I mean, we're trying to keep it as easy as possible here. Um, so crank up the heat as high as it goes. Then we're gonna turn it down a little bit, um, cook our chicken, and then make the sauce in the same pan. kitchen is basically clean um, our vegetables are done we have our um, like pesto meat mixture ready to go for next week if you guys look over here I have my pasta so all I'm gonna do is leave a pot of water with salt on the stove I'll just turn it on when I need to cook that and then in the fridge I have the broccoli florets ready to go so I'll plop those into that boiling water along with the pasta um, and we'll have that meal the kitchen is clean, the chicken is cooking. It has like two more minutes to go. We'll pull it out. We'll make the sauce with our mise en place in the same pan and we'll have lunch. The best part about all this, it's only 11.30. Uh, the worst part about this is now I smell like fried chicken. It's okay because that means I'll smell delicious.
from that little mini cooking session. Um, you guys know that I used to teach culinary arts, so whenever it involves anything in the kitchen, I'm like, oh, fun fact. Oh, here's a tip. So I've seriously been considering um, doing maybe like a once a month recipe video where all I do is teach you how to make something. Um, I know that a lot of you might not be interested because this is like beauty and lifestyle content, but you know, it's worth a shot. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in seeing that. But as far as HelloFresh is concerned, you know my thoughts about it. You know, I'm a full on super hardcore supporter of it. It's you know, facilitated my life in so many ways, especially, you know, being so busy with two little guys and four dogs and crazy schedules. So um, I really hope that you're able to take a little bit away from, um, you know, multitasking and uh, pre-cooking ahead of time and kind of having things ready to go for the week to just make your life a little bit easier. You know, I think what I've taken away from HelloFresh, and it might sound a little corny and cliche, is it's really helped make my life easier you know and you live one life you want to live your best life and feeding your family is priority number one you know the way you fuel your body the nutrition that you contribute to the lives of, of your family is, is so important and so HelloFresh keeps me on my toes with new recipes and allows me to um, you know have a good balanced healthy meal ready for my family during the week um, so I really love that if you guys are interested in checking out HelloFresh um, you can get $30 off your first week of deliveries using the code coffee break 30 um, but all of the details will be listed in the description box below if you guys also go to my um, uh, vlog playlist and you look at the cover shots or the pictures of the um, video like the actual vlog and you see food on there it's usually a hello fresh video so if you guys wanted to see additional recipes that I've made for you guys uh, I'll leave those linked in the description box below as well but again if you guys were interested in checking it out you haven't tried it before you're like well let me see if it's something my family would like. Remember that you get to choose your recipes. The menus change constantly. And if you are having a busy week, if you're gonna be out of town, if you're like, I wanna cook this week on my own, I wanna go grocery shopping, you could always put your subscription on pause as well. Anyway, so Coffee Break 30, $30 off your first week of deliveries. But for now, me and the Merns, I don't know if you guys can see her, but she's right here in case I drop something. I accidentally drop food a lot, especially when the boys aren't here. You know little boys, or little kids in general. They eat, you're like, okay, you give them a cup of rice, and for some reason, two cups of rice end up on the floor, and you're like, what did you actually eat? So when they're not here, I'm like, all right, Mern, I'll hook you up. You guys, I felt so silly when I ordered the amazing apricot chicken because I've had it before, and I've shown it to you guys before, and I was like, they're gonna think that I'm like repeating a recipe because of lack of variety, but it's really because it's one of my favorites. It was totally a selfish decision, you guys. Will you forgive me? <laughs> as much as I wanna stay in chat, I need to hurry up because I need to be at church in an hour. So, catch you later, alligator. Sorry about the full mouth. Hey, hey, you guys, it's three o'clock. Oh, actually, let me open the curtain so you guys can see my makeups. So I just finished filming this Get Ready With Me. I used the Festival, Unicorn Festival palette from um, Too Faced. Uh, it's good, it's cute, but save your pennies, guys. This lip color is a new pencil. It's like a dual-sided lip pencil from Soap and & Glory, and then I topped it with a lip gloss from Flower Beauty called Soleil, right? Oh my gosh, and then on my cheeks, I'm wearing um, Define nudes, definitely nudes, something from Clinique. It's one of those uh, blushes that's a square and it has three different colors mixed in. Um, and then I'm wearing a Flower Beauty highlighter today and I don't like it. I have to blend it away and then try a different one on top. But so far, this is the look I came up with. So it's three o'clock right now. I'm going to film my P.O. Box unboxing and then my FabFitFun. Then I have dinner plans. I don't know what time yet. Probably anywhere between five to seven. I guess it depends on uh, if I finish my work or not. So right now, um, I'm gonna take some pictures. I'll film my two more videos. Um, and then I think that's it for today, really, besides like my dinner plans. Uh, so yeah, look at this, you guys. ¿Qué estás haciendo? Eh, mami. Sophie girl. Sophia. Hey, Sophia. What are you looking at? Are you okay? What are you staring at? 
Huh? What are you staring at, pretty girl? What are you staring at? Anyway, let's go take some pictures. Hey, you guys, it's five o'clock. I just finished filming my P.O. Box unboxing. I know I've said this before and I don't want it to ever get to a point where it's like a broken record or it feels disingenuous, but I don't know how I got so lucky. You know, I could focus on so many horrible, awful things that are going on in my life, but I get these reminders, I get these glimpses of, of love and kindness and tenacity and you share your stories with me of overcoming obstacles in life and your resiliency. And I'm like, there is not a thing in this world that I need to be complaining about. You know, like there is not a thing. I am so lucky. I am so blessed. I am so loved. And I'm so lucky to have you guys. So this is the aftermath of the P.O. Box unboxing. You should see what the floor looks like too. It's uh. It was special. It was very, very special. So if it's already up on my channel, I will leave a link in the description box below. If not, it will be up very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. But right now I'm gonna go up and I don't think I need to retouch my makeup at all. It's looking pretty fly if I do say so myself. So I'm gonna go upstairs and change and then head out the door uh, to go have dinner. Super excited, uh, let's go. Okay you guys, it's 5.30, I'm heading out the door. I wanted to show you guys my outfit of the day. Um, I wanted to show you the outfit, but then I also wanna show you my trench coat cape. It's one of my favorite closet staples, like one of my absolute favorites. It goes with any outfit, it's so elegant, and it literally elevates your outfit. Really? Really? You're interrupting me right now or what's going on? You see this? You see this commotion? What's up? What's up? What are you guys doing? Huh? What are you guys doing? Anyway, before that rude interruption that continues, um, let me show you guys my outfit of the day and then I'll show you guys how it looks with the uh, trench cape on top. So I'm wearing that chambray shirt that I wear all the time. This is from the brand Morona. Um, it's from Target. It's like a light wash. And then I just got this high-waisted belted non-leather. Holy moly, can you see it? Okay, there we go. So I got this um, non-leather. It's called Everything But Leather or something like that from Express. Um, it's just a plastic skirt, you guys, but it's high-waisted, it's belted, and this zipper opens all the way to the bottom. So it actually opens up like a big giant flap. So it is high-waisted. You guys can see where like my boob line is, and then it has like a loose waist that you cinch with the um, belt that it has. The tights that I'm wearing are from DSW. They're old, but Express has a ton of options and they're just as cute. And then these little suede booties from Nine West. Give me a second. I'm going to show you what it looks like with that on. Okay. So this is the trench cape. So if you guys can see the actual inside is a trench coat. It's almost like a vest. The sleeves are the cape portion. And then the back is the cape with the sleeves. So you do have a back to it. So the back is double layered essentially. Um, so that's what it looks like. It's a really, really, really nice neutral piece. So you could wear it with jeans, you could wear it with a dress, you could wear it with the skirt. Like right now I have the denim chambray shirt and the pleather skirt and it looks really, really pretty. So I am having a little bit of second thoughts wearing it though because I feel it's a little too brown, but I'm running late, so I think I'm just gonna rock it. Um, it is raining too, so it'll definitely fit its purpose. I just got home. So my night was full of adventuring. I went to neighborhood services for a drink and then we went to Zaitinha, which is a sort of Greek, Mediterranean, Lebanese 
maybe fusion type restaurant from super uber famous celebrity chef Jose Andres. The food was amazing, right? But I'm a little nervous because it's one of those restaurants that's a little, a little ahead of itself. And I don't know if it'll be, I don't, I don't know if it'll be timeless, uh, especially in the demographic that it's at. Now the star is an amazing new place, right? And they're building like this multi-billion dollar, they're, they're building it out. There's going to be a six star Dubai inspired type uh, hotel with all suites, you know, so it's, it's going to be kind of like a, it's going to be a big deal. It's already a big deal. It's going to be a bigger deal. So I think that once those types of establishments are fully uh, built and developed, a uh, restaurant like Zaitinya will be cool. But for now, I was like, man, the way that the plates are, they're kind of like tapas style. So it's all like sharing and they're really small plates. Um, the description of the dishes is a little complicated. So unless you're like a super hella foodie, it's going to be one of those restaurants. that's a little intimidating, you know, like I wouldn't, I probably wouldn't go with my parents or something. Cause they'd be like, what the heck is this? Uh, anyway, but the food was really good. But other than that, I think that's it for this weekend. So next weekend, uh, what am I going to do next weekend? Oh, you guys are going to help me pick out my new glasses. So two vlogs ago, I went to the optometrist. I got an updated prescription. So I want to get an updated pair of glasses. So I'm going to do a video with Warby Parker where you guys help me pick my new glasses. So next week we'll do that. You guys will help me pick my new glasses. Um, and then the weekend after that, I won't be vlogging cause I will be out of town. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this weekend. You guys, Saturday was such a wash, right? Like, Saturday what? I can't believe I had a headache that lasted that long. In fact, my headache didn't go away until earlier today, probably like around lunchtime. <sighs> I haven't had a bad headache like that in a really long time. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this weekend vlog. Um, I will try and list and link all of the stuff that you see in this vlog in the description box below. Um, look out for my P.O. Box unboxing coming up soon, if not already. If it's already live, I will link it in the description box as well. I missed seven. Come here. You gotta say goodnight. Come. Mern, come on. Come on, Mern. Come on, Mern. <laughs> I don't think she's made enough appearances in this vlog, so I had to squeeze her in a little bit, a little bit more. Uh, this is Mern, up close and personal. What are you doing? Seriously, like what are you doing? What's going on? This is my fancy couch. Do you understand that? This is the fancy couch. This is, this is the sala. We don't, we don't, we don't sit in the sala. <laughs> this is where, when we have visitors. What are you doing? Ernesta. I love your freckles. I love your freckles so much. They're my favorite. Ernesto, look at mommy. Show me your face. That's the prettiest face I've ever seen in the whole world. In the whole world. Yes, it is. My pretty girl. Where is my man? Where is my man? My pretty girl. Who's my pretty girl? Yes, you are my pretty, pretty princess. Let me see that big ear. Who's the big ears? Those are some big ears. Yes, they are. Hi, who's my cuddle princess? Who's my cuddle girl? Are you my cuddle girl? Yes, you are freckle face. I love you freckle face. Anyway, so that is it for this weekend vlog. That was Ernesta that jumped clear over me. Clear over me. Uh, that's it for this weekend vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you so much and you know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? You wanna say goodbye? You wanna say goodbye?